Good morning and welcome to school today. It is the 27th of February. We're almost done with February. I can't believe that. Um, and then we'll do our pledge, but then we'll also sing our national anthem, okay? So let's get our day started by standing for the pledge and then stay standing to sing with Miss Doval. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hmm, oh say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the brave <clears throat> All right, let's see what we're having for lunch today. It looks like we're having chicken with mini waffles and syrup, mashed potatoes and grape tomatoes and mixed fruit. That's what's on the menu. We'll see what that says about that. So. All right, and let's see if we have any 27 birthdays. Oh, we do. Today is Ella Beckno's birthday. It's also Solomia's Velenchuk's birthday and it's Solomia Mink. Mink. Maniac's birthday too, huh? Two Solomias on one day. You guys come at lunchtime, we'll get a birthday treat. All right, our Black History Month um, quote is, if they don't give you a seat at the table, bring a folding chair. I like that, if they don't give you a seat at the table, then bring a folding chair. Shirley Chisholm, and she was the first black woman elected to Congress. All right, Friday's attendance, 92.6. If I round it up to the nearest tenth, that's 93. First grade was our weekly winner, and they'll be dismissed first. We had one, two, three, four, five perfect attendance homerooms. That was Arena, Miller, Perkins, Smitty, and Wicks. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Our manner of the week is it is never okay to cheat at anything. Okay, so that one we'll try to make sure that we always are being honest about what we're doing. Okay, if that's taking a test, if it's doing a worksheet, um, playing a game even, all of those kinds of things. Please check Lost and Found for me in case there's something else in there. Remember that the mission at Red Oak Elementary is to have academic excellence, stretch in our brains, a nurturing environment where everyone feels safe, and then we want to be, we want to be um, future ready, life ready, figuring out what our passion and purpose, purpose, looking for the future there. Okay. All right, and then we have a um, word part today, cron, and cron means time. Like if someone says it's in chronological order, then that's in the time, the order that it happened. A chronometer measures some amount of time, I can't think. Um, chronic, I think that would be it. So chronic is something that lasts a long time. So if you have chronic allergies, then those allergies are just all the time around. So. Cron means time. So use that to decipher a word if you don't know it, okay? All right. I thought I had some little guests going to be with me today, but I do not see them. Congratulations to Homer Thomas. He has passed over 100 lessons in a row. Oh, my gosh, in reading. In a row. That's pretty impressive. And then here are some Red Oak role models. Stefan Spillman played a different game at recess instead of being mad. Elia and Spradling, Elia and Spradling, sorry, good job following directions in music. Annabelle Trump and Miss Quinn's class had great hallway behavior. Annabella in Miss Watkins class had a, she did a fantastic example of attention in music. Gunner in Miss Watkins class was excellent in, excellent in paying attention. Emmeline Short in Miss Shipley's class was kind to someone else. Mallory Boisel was also kind to somebody else. 
Uh, let's see. Brett Peregrine in Miss Shipley's room was an active listener. Laura M. in Miss Shipley's room acted in a safe manner. Carter Hammond was kind. That's in Miss Shipley also. Ben Land included everyone, took turns, and played fairly. Bradley Hall made good decisions. <clears throat> Olivia and Miss McDermott's group did a great job singing in music and music, singing and moving in music. Kinsley and Miss McDermott's class played great attention in music. Gunnar Morgan has been a diligent learner. I like that word, diligent. Lily Mahan did a fabulous job in reading. Kiana Herrera Rojas worked so hard in math. Lucy in, uh, let's see, that's not the right, I think it must, might be Miss Denton's room. Great job singing and moving. I think that's Lucy Ludwig. Uh, Ryan in Miss Linton's class did an awesome, had an awesome first day in music. Ryan Moat. Kenna in Miss Quinn's class did a great job paying attention in music. Olivia in Miss Quinn's class, she had nice singing and followed the directions in music. Carter Smith in Miss um, Quinn's class set a good example in the hallway. And Edgar in Mr. Spradlin's class did a good job paying attention in music. Great job, you guys. Okay, I still don't see them, so we might just do that one tomorrow. <clears throat> okay, I got a couple of jokes that people have given me. Um, what is the, your friendliest organ? Your tongue, because it's covered with buds, <laughs> taste buds. I, that came from Lachlan. I kind of fixed it a little bit, Lachlan, to make a little bit more sense. And let's see, what kind of room has no windows or doors? A mushroom. And, oh my goodness, I did not know this. Sloths, everybody loves a sloth. They're super popular right now. Are so slow that algae, that green stuff that kind of grows on things that stay put, actually grows on their fur. Can you imagine? Like if your cat had algae growing on their fur? But my cat's not slow at all. Uh, let's see. Uh, what do you call the story of the three little pigs? A pigtail. What did the peanut butter say to the bread? Quit loafing around. Uh, let's see, I did that one yesterday. Da, 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 da. And what do you call a fossil that never does any work? Lazy bones. <laughs> That's a funny one, too. All right, let's say those red oak expectations. Everybody's saying them, okay? Respect ourselves, others, and our place. Expect to learn. Do our best. Own our behavior. Always treat others the way you want to be treated and know we can. It is super important to me that you are kind to one another, that you keep your hands and feet to yourselves, and that, you're, um, that you are silent in our hallways. Teachers, if you would, please make sure you check the memo um, and sign up for a listening session with me. Um, actually, that's anybody who wants to on our staff. Um, let's see. Do your work. Do it well. And then I'll see you guys in the morning. Love you guys.